Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed over to the UK for the Wigan Kebab. Now, the most notable thing about this is that it is in fact not a kebab and does not involve a kebab in any way. Got to do a little baking, got to do a little making. Let's get to it. Okay, so we have to soak some peas and not just any peas, marrow fat peas specifically. But first we need to add some baking soda and then we pour in boiling water and let that sit overnight. Uh, next up, we got to make our buns, or as they call them, barms. Okay, to make our barm, we start off with a combination of warm milk and warm water and add yeast. Stir that in and let it bloom. Next, we add butter to flour. Typically, this is made with lard, but I'm going to have leftovers and I want Christine to be able to eat it, so I'm making it with butter. We basically massage this until it looks like coarse cornmeal. Now we add in salt. Now we mix our liquid into our dry. Now we're to knead it for five to ten minutes. Now we cover with a towel and let it rise until doubled, about an hour or so. Okay, now we turn it onto a floured surface. Knead it a little bit. Now we have to divvy this up into eight rolls. All right, now we cover these with cling film and let them sit for another 45 minutes or so to uh, proof again. Continuing on with the mushy peas, we uh, drain the water and then rinse them thoroughly. Now into a pot with some water, bring it to a boil, then lower it to a simmer and cook for about 30 minutes. All right, now we just mash them up. Add a little salt, pepper, I'm going to add a little butter, and a little bit of whole milk. And you might be saying, Barry, where's the mint? Well, I mean, there are recipes out there that have mint, but my understanding is the base recipe is just kind of straightforward like this. So that's what I'm going for. If I've offended you, I apologize a trillion times. Now we put our meat and potato pie that's frozen into a 400 degree oven for about an hour. What's that? No, I, I didn't make my own pie. Uh, my day job is ramping up and... Uh, just didn't have the time. Plus, I found this uh, great British bakery that's run out of a home kitchen, Julie's British Bakery here in San Jose. She makes all kinds of pies. I ended up buying three different flavors. And now we put our barms in the oven for about 25 minutes. Okay, now we need to butter our barm. It probably should have been a little bit bigger, but what are you going to do? I'm not a great baker. A little layer of mushy peas. Our meat and potato pie. <laughs> and a little bit more mushy peas. Yeah, the buns probably should have been a little bit bigger. <laughs> eh, what are you going to do? All right, let's give this wig and kebab a go. Carbtastic. Don't get me wrong, the pie is delicious. The meat and potato pie and the mushy peas are a nice little counterbalance, but even if the buns were bigger, the pie is still gonna squish and cause a mess. It's just gonna get destroyed immediately. I do wanna plus this up, but I wanna do it with three things that I found online that people add to it and um, try them out. First plus up is gonna be Bisto gravy. And these are uh, granules and you add boiling water and it makes a gravy. The Bisto Gravy. Malt vinegar. HP sauce. All right, let's give the Wigan Kebab plus up with Bisto Gravy a go. Pretty good. I mean, what's interesting is if you look at the ingredients on the gravy granules, there's no listing of beef in there. They just have natural flavors, but other than that, it's all just flavoring. But when it combines with everything, it's actually kind of tasty. Okay, let's give this Wigan Kebab plus up with malt vinegar a go. That's actually quite nice. The malt vinegar is providing a sharp contrast to the really rich but delicious meat and potato pie and the mushy peas and the bread. And last but not least, let's give the uh, Wigan Kebab plussed up with HP sauce. Go. Sweet, tangy, a little bit of tamarind going on. Plays really well against the richness of the pie and the peas. All right, so the original Wigan Kebab, boy howdy, that is a nap in sandwich form. Um, <laughs> But it was tasty. The meat and potato pie was delicious uh, with the mushy peas and the bread. Um, I'm going to give it about seven and a half. Plus up with the Bisto gravy granules. I'll give that an eight. That was tasty. It was not my favorite of the three plus ups, but uh, you know, it's fine. Um, plus up with the malt vinegar. I'm going to say eight and a half. I like that. And I think probably eight and a half, maybe nine for the HP sauce. Both of those provided a nice contrast to Let's face it, a heavy sandwich. So the barm recipe I followed from rachelpatterson.co.uk. Did not follow well, sorry, Rachel. Uh, the mushy peas recipe I followed from Spruce Eats. And the pie I got from Julie's British Baking here in San Jose. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. If you want to see a really well done uh, version of the Wigan Kebab, check out my man Jim at sandwichtribunal.com, TikTok or Instagram. He does a thorough job and he does an amazing job of it. All right, I'm gonna finish that and then slip into a coma. Um, would I make this again? Probably not. Would I have one of these after a few pints if uh, I was visiting Wigan? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow.